What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. That's right, you guys seen the title, so you know what I'm doing. I'm doing the Popeye's chicken sandwich. And you know what, this is just another iron in the fire, you know, with my uh, my copycat playlist. So listen, we're gonna do all of the major brand copycat, you know, uh, replicas, we're gonna do those, but right now it's all about this chicken sandwich and I'm gonna make one that I think that you know, that they should make anyway. So I don't know what we gonna call it, but we'll figure it out, you know, throughout this video. Now listen, I'm not gonna over talk it. The ingredients we finna get right into, and I'm just getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make. So with that being said, let's get right into these ingredients. So now you guys see everything, right? You can see some of it. I got some stuff over here that might be like out of uh, the camera view right now, but first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over these ingredients, and we are gonna start off with just our, this gonna be our dry mix, right? So. I'm gonna start off by just showing you, look, we gotta have some salt. The reason I tell you that, it's up to you guys how much uh, salt you wanna put in, because some of us are watching our sodium, but I'm gonna just say it's gonna be somewhere right around a tablespoon, you know, of salt going into your flour, right? So we got Creole seasoning. Now listen, this is uh, this the Creole seasoning that I like because it has a lot less sodium than all of the other brands out here. This that Creole kick. So Creole kick, you're gonna see that a lot of times I'm gonna use that with salt because you can add what you need and not be forced to use what they have. All right, we got black pepper. Here, we got paprika. And here we got cayenne pepper. Now this right here, this is key. This is cornstarch, gotta have that. If you're looking for that crispiness, you gotta have cornstarch. And then of course you gotta have your flour, right? So again, this is just what, what I'ma dredge everything in. Now I just showed you that, and right here, I got two chicken halves. What I did was I bought a big pack, and these are chicken breasts right here. Listen, they kinda big, so what I did was I just separated them. And these right here, I'm probably gonna be able to get four out of this. You know, four burgers out of that. And then for myself, I got some bone-in, you know, chicken thighs, right? I'ma debone one for myself, and I'ma make mine out of chicken thigh. And we are gonna just look at the difference and taste it. Then of course, you know, you gotta have brioche buns, right? Got those right here. Mayo. And then Popeyes, you know they put them pickles on the bottom. So I got them pop, uh, pickles right here. These ain't gonna be authentic deal. These right here is uh, bread and butter. If you guys don't know about them bread, that bread and butter, you better, hey, trust me what I tell you, this right here is the fire. All right, now let me show you the rest. Okay, look, I got a meat tenderizer too. I'm gonna explain all of that once we get into that. And uh, let me just finish these ingredients. And now over here for look, this right here is what we gonna put our chicken in and we gonna put this in the, uh, we gonna put our chicken, once we get this together, we gonna put it in the uh, refrigerator, right? So you gotta have three eggs, which is right here. You got three eggs. This right here, I got a little bit less than a quarter cup of uh, hot sauce. And then right here, I got some salt, some kosher salt. And then right here, we got buttermilk. You know, we got two cups. Now you guys, look, don't forget, down in the description box below this video, I have the full ingredient list broke down by the flour mix, you know, our marinade slash brine, you know, and things like that. So don't forget, down in the description box below. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna get our buttermilk, you know, my mixture together, right? So let's just go ahead and just put two eggs in it. You know, these three eggs, let's crack them. I can hear some of y'all saying, hey, AB, you know you're supposed to crack your eggs somewhere else, you know, to check them to make sure that they don't, uh, you know, that they're not bad. And then you wanna make sure you got yourself a whisk. Now, for the buttermilk. Then we're gonna come with our hot sauce. You guys can use whatever hot sauce you like. You know what I mean? Uh, one of the things you guys probably don't know about me is, or some of you guys know that me and hot sauce, we we okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, look, so now we're gonna add this, this salt to it. This that kosher salt. Just put this inside of here and we're gonna whisk it together. Once we whisk it, we just wanna get it mixed up. You can see the color. It'll start changing a little bit. Make sure these yolks are broken. And I don't know why, I like to be the human blender. I'm gonna show it to you like this. I just like to turn this like this. You know what I mean, break those yolks. And you get to see everything kind of like, uh, you know, break and mix in, you know, together. Hey, you know what, I'm gonna tell you this too. Listen, it's key to have like the right equipment. You'll hear me say that in all of the, uh, 
the videos, you know what I mean? Just having the right tools for the job makes your job so much easier, all the way down to, uh, you know, to cooking. So, got this mixed up. You can see that right now, bring it close for you guys. I'm gonna set this off to the side right here. Now we getting ready to work on this chicken. Now I've already rinsed off my chicken and did everything. Look, you can see this is how I come. We're gonna do a little trimming. You know, uh, you might wanna leave it on, but like, I like to just say this for video purposes, you know what I'm saying? We just gonna clean it up, that's all. All right, look, I got trimmed up, it looks cool. Now, look, let me just say it like this so we can understand it. I mean, this little stuff right here, I'm gonna take off, but if I wasn't filming, I probably wouldn't take that little, little fat off. All right, I just wanna show you this. Let me fix the camera so you guys can see it. All right, so we can just get an up close and personal look at it. If you look at this part of my hand right here, and we all know when you buy a chicken breast, look, it's thicker here and then it tapers down and gets thin here. So what I'm gonna say is, listen, we are gonna have to either flatten that, or some of you guys, if you don't flatten, you know what I mean, maybe you don't have a, a meat tenderizer. You know, if you don't, listen, some people might just elect to cut it. You know, if, they, if it's all even, it cooks evenly. So meaning, let's just say, I wanted this to reach a certain temperature, this would have reached there quicker, and that means this is gonna be dried out and all that. Don't forget, this is a breast, right? So what I'm gonna do is, Hey, listen, we're going to take it and we finna beat it out of it. <laughs> All right, hold on. What I like to do is just get yourself some uh, saran wrap. Just put it over the top, right? And look, it got two sides. I use this for like the beef and things like that, that you want to get it tenderized. But this here, we just finna smash. So let's use the mallet side behind it. So just take it right here. Ah, that's good. Look, now look how big that is. And uh, look at that, nice and round. You can see the bun sitting on it. It's gonna have all of the crust on there. Ah, yeah. And there you have it. So I'm not gonna do nothing else. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and get do the other ones. And then uh, after that, we'll move over to the next step. Okay, in here, what I did was I just went ahead and deboned my chicken thigh, right? So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in the, my buttermilk along with the rest of the pieces. Now let me just bring this over here so you guys can see. You can see I got them all in here, they soaking. So I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator and we are gonna put them in there for about four hours. Now, I don't put nothing in the refrigerator just uncovered like that, right? So hit it with some saran wrap, as you guys can see, not like the neatest job, but you know how this saran wrap is. Now we going in for four hours. Now, what you wanna do is get yourself a large bowl, right? Or whatever station you guys are gonna put together and you just wanna put all of your dry ingredients in the bowl. You know what, just like super easy, not trying to make it difficult, no certain order or whatever, just put them all in there. Then you wanna get yourself a whisk and then you're gonna mix it together. Now earlier when I showed it to you guys, I had had it where it was, uh, the salt was next to the uh, dry ingredients. But I'm telling you now, just from, experience, from past experience, when I was just making a regular chicken sandwich, I just know it's a tablespoon of salt. And especially when you're using that Creole kick, you just wanna use that, listen, and it balances it out perfectly. And I already know that I like to see, you know, pepper flakes in there. So I add that also. Now look, I'm gonna show you two different options. You know, those of us that have like deep fryers, I'm loving my T-Fall, you know, this uh, T-Fall deep fryer right here. I'm gonna go ahead and deep fry it in this. But I'm gonna show you guys another option, which would be for all of those who don't have it, what you can do is get yourself a pot, right? You just want a pot that's deep enough. You're gonna need one of these strainers right here to go ahead and scoop out your chicken, you know, once it's ready. And then listen, if you can get yourself one of these candy thermometers, listen, this is how you're gonna measure, you know, the temperature of your oil. Hey, real simple setup, you know what I mean? Uh, this doesn't cost nothing really. You need this and you're gonna need this and you already have this. This can be whatever. And this right here is adjustable on the back. You guys can see that, look. So how big, however deep your pot is, you got that happening. So I'll just put it back like this and I'll just show you how easy it is, you know, to put it on, that's it. And then we're gonna be cooking this at about 350 degrees, really about 330. I'll start off at 350, but once I add the chicken in there, then I'll adjust it down to about 330. Cause listen, it's gonna cool down anyway, you know, from putting it in there. So this is option number two. This is option number one. Now, once you come out of the refrigerator and you're done marinating, you get everything set up. So listen, I use one hand that I pick everything up with. This is the hand that touches the, you know, the brine slash marinade. Then I drop it into the flour and I use my other hand, you know, to go ahead and put, listen, it's already laying down flat. So I put, you know, I put some uh, flour on the top 
and then I mash it in there. Look, I'm gonna do it again so you guys can see. This right here is key. Look, notice that I'm putting it on the top, right? Then I flip it over because you want to get it completely covered. And then watch what I do. I take it and I mash it down. That way when I pick it up, I can look and see any uh, any of the cracks in the chicken or whatever and make sure that it's completely coated. And if, and if it needs more, like it did right there, I just add some more and pat it in there. And then you just want to give it a shake and whatever falls off, falls off. And then other than that, you put it on your pan on your, uh, your baking rack right there and you let it sit up and it should look just like that. I let it sit for at least five to eight minutes. I go on and move on to the next thing. All right, you can see, look, there's not a whole lot to it. Look, we got mayo, we gotta have them pickles, and then we got these, these brioche buns, right? But the thing is, listen, I'm getting ready to toast these. But before I do that, let's go ahead and get these and the oil. My oil says it's ready, so let's get it. Now, now that we got our oil, it's already reached 350 degrees. You know what I do is I always hold it up and I like to just like move it back and forth. And then when I release it into the oil, notice that I release it away from me. That's off to the side, but that's still not towards me. That way I don't catch any splatter. And what you're seeing me do right now is since I'm using that basket and they kind of big, I like to look at them to make sure they're not touching. You know what I mean? You don't want like one big mush. All right, so now you want to check it and make sure you got at least 165 degrees, you know, in the thickest part of the uh, breast. And after that, now it's time to, oh, and you can see right there that they already toasted, right? So listen, you got to toast your buns. And then I hit it with just some mayo. But look, for mine, this is what I like. I like to make my own thing. I usually use like a couple of tablespoons of uh, mayonnaise, you know, a little bit of that uh, ketchup. I come with some relish and a little mustard and I do salt and uh, pepper. Listen, been making this for years. Listen, we don't buy a thousand dollar in dressing. We use that A Bizzles dressing right there. That right there, hey, I'm gonna bottle that up and sell that. Hey, so anyway, look, I mix that up and then I'm gonna put that on the bun that you guys will see that doesn't have anything on it. That's the one that I'm gonna go ahead and put that uh, chicken, those chicken thighs on. That right there is gonna do it. I started to put some cheese on there or something like that, you know, just to make it like flossy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, I make them like this and sometimes when we don't have buns, Hey, listen, we go ahead and just use bread. Don't judge me, folks. All right, so now we just go ahead and do the assembly. Hey, super simple, right? Supposed to be the Popeye's uh, copycat chicken sandwich, right? So that's it. You got the mayonnaise. You know what? You got your pickles. Then you got your breast, or you can use thigh, and then you put that bun on the top. Hey, just super easy. I hope you guys like this, and I hope you guys want to see more because I enjoy doing this and enjoy this. So tell me what you guys think. You know what, super easy. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's more of a chore for me to film it than it is to actually make it. You can probably make these, I'm gonna say everything with the prep outside of it after you uh, you did your uh, your brine or something like that. But I'm gonna say, man, this all comes together in about, I'm gonna say anywhere between 12 and 15 minutes. You know what, just super easy. And you know what, it's excellent if you guys got company, you put these out, everybody gonna remember that whole big old craze about whose chicken sandwich is better than what or whatever. Hey, but all that talking, listen, I'm not gonna eat the ones with the uh, with the uh, chicken breast, because listen, those are accounted for by the people that's behind this camera. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of mine. So, here we go. Here it is. You know what, this is my version. Man, mouth is watering, folks. Mm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't say enough about it. I don't even know how to close this uh I don't even know how to close this uh video. You know what I mean? Hey listen. Hey, just hey try it. I gave you guys the ingredients. Hey, use it on your regular chicken because this right here is the one. So with that being said, can't quit thinking about, you know what? I see a uh, a food truck with these uh with these chicken sandwiches on there and I'm slanging these all throughout the West Coast. Hey, anyway, check this out. So listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just say, hey, thank you for watching this video. And you know what? I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below if you wanna see more of these. You know what? I love the encouragement. Listen, I'm having fun. I hope you guys are too. You know what? We just broaden our horizon, making fun recipes throughout the, uh, 2020. So with that being said, don't forget, to, again, don't forget to like, subscribe and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and you know how i'm about to get out of here folks peace